Hello and welcome. It's Erica with this week's regularly scheduled video. I say that because if you've never seen my videos until right now, I upload a video every Thursday for sure, but I also sometimes upload other videos like the um, To Doodle Today videos. My subscribers, of course, already know that, and thank you guys for joining me while I make some doodle art. I'm finally starting to get more comfortable with editing the videos and am learning things I should and shouldn't do with speeding things up and editing them together. And if you didn't know, I use my phone to do all my videos. I use the phone camera to make the videos and to edit the videos and to upload them to YouTube. So now that I've gotten a bit more comfortable with putting the videos together, because I couldn't tape my videos together before, or I should say I, I hadn't found an app yet that would let me do it for free. So I found I, I found plenty that cost a monthly fee, but I, I finally found one that was easy to use and it didn't cost anything. So now I can do videos of, of pieces that take longer that I, you know, weren't one sitting drawings. So, for today's video, I'm working on a piece with a girl holding a snake. And I will be honest, one of the things I do still kind of struggle with when making these videos is trying to figure out what I'm going to talk about. Because I enjoy putting these videos out, but I definitely in no way am an expert in art. In fact, I'm probably exactly the opposite. So I feel like telling you my art process is kind of unprofessional and inappropriate. <laughs> but I also don't want to upload videos of art with just music in the background because I know I enjoy the videos that have some conversation in them. And I'm definitely not saying that the videos with just music in them are better than the others because some people get annoyed by hearing people talk. <laughs> And prefer to just watch. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I want to make videos like videos that I like to watch and those are the videos with commentary. For instance, there's two artists on YouTube that I watch and I've watched them for at least three years now. Um, Lethal Chris is one of them and Peter Draws is the other and I'm mentioning them only because I have steadily watched them for a few years and if you don't know who they are, Chris's videos are very explainative of his process down to what he's doing, what he's using, you know, really good step-by-step -step stuff. And Peter, well, I just love the way his brain works. I watch him just as much for his thoughts as for his art. So because I enjoy both of those channels, I want to kind of use them as an inspiration, I guess you would say, but the problem is, as far as telling people what I'm doing when I'm doing art, feels terribly unprofessional because I'm not a professional artist. I don't really know the right terms and the descriptions of what I'm doing. I see things I like or think of something I like or I'll try to recreate it, but to try to do a tutorial a tutorial or something like explaining what I'm doing it just seems wrong I, I think that's one of the reasons I like Chris so much is because he is so professional about it and I genuinely feel like I'm getting some actual like fundamental school knowledge but then when I watch Peter I feel like I'm just kind of hanging out with a friend because it's just a bunch of random thoughts that go through his head and it's all over the place and I'm not saying that either one is better than the other like either video or type of video is better than the other because they're both good I love watching both of the videos I like both of them uh, they're both great artists and they both put out great content but they're like kind of like on the different spectrum like one end to the other one's very um, book smart, I guess, and the other, and, and I don't want it to sound like, you know, it's just, it's just different ends of the spectrum, I guess. So, 
So the thing about it is, I guess what I'm trying to say is, since I don't have the um, book smarts on the art, and I have lots of random thoughts, that random thoughts are definitely the direction that I'll be heading in. <laughs> of course, I will try to tell you everything I use, like the tools and the products, but that will probably be about the extent in my videos unless you're curious about something I'm doing and maybe why or how I'm doing something or if you have a question at all just ask leave them question you know go ahead and leave it in the comments below and if I if it's you know I can answer it in the comments I'll answer it in the comments or if I think a more detailed explanation could be helpful I'll discuss it in a video um, but I think I'm going to steer away from too much explaining, Lucy. <laughs> so then my next dilemma is what to say. So right now what I'll say is I'm using four different mediums. I'm using watercolor, um, markers, ink, uh, me metallic ink, and then regular um, pens for the outline, so regular ink. Oh, and the paper I use is Strathmore Tone Tan Mixed Media. It's a 140 pound paper. I love this paper. It's my right now favorite <laughs> until I find my next favorite anyway. So I'll leave a link to the products I use if any of them strike your fancy bone and you'd like to easily purchase it. I'll put that down in the description. And now that that is discussed, back to the not knowing what to talk about dilemma because <laughs> let's be honest I wish I could say I don't care what people think of me because that's easy to say until you have a lot of people telling you how much they dislike you <laughs> and even if you don't care what people think of you how often are you comfortable with you because I'm very uncomfortable with myself sometimes and I cringe every time I listen to my videos <laughs> so believe me I've watched a few, maybe a ton of videos on how to be more comfortable putting stuff out there. And through those searches, I found one video that really opened my eyes to the whole issue. And that video was made by another one of my favorite artists to watch, and that's Angel Ganev. And I think it was titled Nobody Cares About You. I, I, I don't know if he still has it on his, up on his channel or not, but I, I think that's what it was. Nobody Cares About You. And that's the truth of it, and not in a bad way, <laughs> but in a good nobody cares way. And basically that people really have so much going on in their life, like their own life, that they're not really going to pick you apart as bad as you do to yourself. They're too busy doing that same thing to themselves that you're doing to yourself, that they don't have time to worry about you any more than you have time to worry about them. So a big struggle for me was how can I make sure people will enjoy my videos? And let's be honest, even if I thought I figured out the recipe to making the perfect videos that everyone would enjoy, that's never going to happen. Ever. That's crazy to even think. <laughs> but sometimes I refer to myself as multiples and I have a lot of inner dialogue, which I've also heard is a sign of crazy. So crazy is as crazy does. <laughs> But anyway, my whole point, I guess, is that I've been trying to figure out what I should do with my videos because I feel like I should have some sort of plan, I guess, or some sort of theme, but all I got is uneducated art and random thoughts. So we're going to stop worrying so much <laughs> and see, I just did it again. Who is this we? We is me and my thoughts, I guess. So I have decided the official plan for my YouTube videos is to do random art with random thoughts and use a lot of strings made out of insecurity and some mustard up courage <laughs> to help hold it all together. <laughs> and if that seems like something you like <laughs> and you aren't <laughs> subscribed to my channel yet, then hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I also post on Facebook and Instagram, so if you would like to follow either of those, I'll put the links in the description. 
and also speaking of Instagram I just did a giveaway for a piece I did and I just want to say thank you again to everyone that participated in that contest and a big congratulations to Andy Bo for winning I try to do a contest once in a while so I'll let everyone know when the next one is I do plan on doing another giveaway when my Instagram follower account gets to a thousand. I can't use certain features for links until I reach that point, so that is kind of a goal I'd like to reach on Instagram. So I'll definitely be doing a celebratory giveaway for that when I reach a thousand followers on Instagram. It'll make it a little bit easier for me to be able to Put the links to my YouTube videos in the swipe instead of people having to bounce around clicking different things <laughs> to get to certain things. So yeah, that's just something I plan on doing. So if um, anybody's interested in being involved in that contest when it happens, feel free to share my Instagram with your friends and the sooner that I get to a thousand, the sooner I can have the contest. And I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it is raining right now while I'm doing the commentary. So I don't know if my phone picks up all the noise in the background. It might. I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. <laughs> but I don't have a real soundproof place to do these videos. So whenever there's stuff going on outside, you can kind of hear what's going on inside too. <laughs> Oh, and there was one other thing that I think I'm probably going to go ahead and commit myself to, besides just the every Thursday upload, is I'm probably going to start doing a fan, art fr a fan art Friday video the first Friday of every month. So, yeah, I think that's definitely something I'm going to do. So tomorrow I plan on putting out my video that I did of Mercy from Overwatch. I did that one a couple weeks ago, I think. So I, I just wasn't sure what I was going to do exactly for that. But now I'm ready, I, I think, to commit to that. So every first Friday of every month will be Fan Art Friday. So tomorrow will be the Mercy one. And I think that's pretty much it. As far as planned things uh, to do and um, the other thing of course is just the to doodle today videos which I'll probably keep making those as long as I do a doodle during the day I might as well go ahead and post it I figure so those will be a little more random um, but uh, I'll try to get those up too All right, so I want to thank you guys once again for listening to me ramble while I do some arts. So until the next video, I hope life is good to you and those you love. Love you guys. Bye.